One year ago, almost to the day, Table Rock Lake turned into a whirlpool, as you can see here. Families and tourists stranded on that duck boat that never made it back to shore. Tonight, safety still on the minds of those who love the lake. It's almost hard to look at that boat again. The tragedy has prompted many people to think more about weather safety when they're out on the water. Katie Brosso shares what things your family should consider before you take a day of fun in the sun. Just looking out there and seeing these white tops like I'd never seen them before. In the midst of crashing waves, tragedy struck. Taking 17 lives as a duck boat sank into Table Rock Lake. Sometimes you'll see a, a line segment of wind well in advance of that storm. Chief Ted Martin with Branson's Emergency Management Division recalls watching the storm on radar a year ago, informing city park officials of the danger. That gave them an opportunity with timing to look at evacuating the city pool. He says Branson has always done its best to keep area businesses updated about weather threats. We are a, a weather ready community designated by the National Weather Service and that means that we do a couple things. One is a, a good means to receive warnings from the National Weather Service, good communications back and forth. And after the duck accident, he says they continue to be a resource, especially for outdoor attractions. To disseminate information so that our businesses can make great decisions on when to evacuate, say, pools at a motel. But it's not only important for businesses to be ready for bad weather, but also families. First and foremost, you want to make sure everyone has a proper PFD. Troopers with the Water Patrol say have a way to get weather alerts while you're on the lake. You can talk to local marinas, you know, use your smartphone. But if the storm catches you off guard. When the rain comes down, you sometimes lose sight of the shoreline. That can disorient you. Be prepared to make what can be a tough call. Check your surroundings. Is there a dock or a shoreline where you can beach your boat? If you do choose to, to ride the storm out, and head into the waves just enough to, to keep forward momentum and keep that bow up because the bow is designed to, to break the waves. Because while nothing can change the past, it's important to think safety first in the future. People have the resources to make good weather-based decisions. And Chief Martin says when the department works with area businesses on fire response training, they also do weather preparedness training. They help businesses form plans to react to weather and knowing where to take people so that they can stay safe.